folks. Today on Midwest Outdoors, we're out on Lake of the Woods. We're guests of Border View Lodge. Guide Landy Vollmer's got us out on the ice today. We're joined on the show by Fred Parno. We got Gary and Eric Sorensen. Landy's gonna take Gary and Eric to the next house down. Fred and I are gonna jump in this one. We're gonna check in on these guys in a little bit. We're gonna catch a bunch of fish today. Stay with us. Fish probably there, I'd say he's 14, yeah, 15. A, that'll make a sandwich. Yep. Come on up the hole. Walleye that time. Nice. You know, we're just outside of Pine Island right now, set up in about 22, 23 foot. You know, on the early ice, they take you out on the light ice transportation. You know, they're uh, small rigs where you pack in in the morning, they get you out and drop you off. Now we're not very far away from the road system being in play. And once they get set up, you know, they'll take roads 15 miles out into the lake. That one's going in the box. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Nice little walleye, 12 and a half inch. Hors d'oeuvres tonight at the lodge. When they bring you out here, you know, it doesn't doesn't matter if you're taking that light ice transportation or if you're coming out yourself, when you get to your house, the houses are gonna be uh, drilled out, oh, two times in a row. I'm gonna get them yet. Uh, heat's gonna be on, you got your bait out there. The, uh, they'll deliver the lunch for you. They check on you during the day. They'll provide you a couple tips with what's working out there. And then at the end of the day, they pick you up or you head back in and they clean your fish for you at Borderview Lodge. So definitely some full service fishing. Time for some more bait. A little nicer, what? There you go. That one. Bobber just got down there and there's a nice sauger. Come on up here. If you don't have your own electronics, that's one of the nice things at the resort there too. You can rent electronics and that will make a big difference in your fishing for sure. You can see your bait on the electronics, you can see the fish, see how they're reacting. They were a little more negative early so downsized all the way to that plain hook and just a split shot. That's what that one took. Pretty sauger. He's going in the bucket. Gary and Eric, they gave us a call right. on the phone, our next door neighbors. That's a nice one. What about a 26 and a half you yeah, said? Yeah. You got her going. I think I'm gonna grab my stuff and join you in this house. Down she goes, that's a good feeling. Borderview Lodge is really a popular resort. Like any great business, it's always evolving. They've just added Settlers Point to the mix of their lodging. It's really close to the resort. You can sleep 18 people. We got nine bedrooms in there. There's a shower bathroom in, in each bedroom. Great big rooms for gathering. You've got a poker table, bumper pool, it has a kitchen on site. It's a great venue for a corporate getaway, family reunions, even weddings. There we go. Yep. Big you know, besides fishing in the day houses, another option Borderview has is the sleeper fish houses. They really got them set up nice. Each sleeper's got a stove in there. You get a whole uh, kit with all the dishes you need. They're ready to go when you come up. If you want, they do have meal plans where they'll deliver your meals out there, which is really a unique option for uh, sleeper fish houses. Again, you're using the plowed roads to get out there, but they, uh, of course, check on you every day, a couple times a day. A little sandwich in my mouth. You know, in addition to that Settler's Point, uh, of course, they've got the other excellent lodging, you know, the great in the Grand Cabin. Come on up here, fishy, join us. You know, the, the great uh, can sleep up to 12 people. The Grand, that's got room for uh, 16 in there. And they've got the Riverside Cabins. They're a uh, perfect setup for groups of guys, you know, four to six people. The Ultra Modern Suites is right there, you know, perfect for couples or just uh, uh, two people staying. And that's all right next to the bar and lodge. They've got great food. You got steak, chicken, ribs. And then, uh, of course, you could bring your fish in and have them cooked up. That's always popular up here with people. You know, the bar is also home to their uh, famous Walleye Master's Ale. It's good to have a cocktail when you're done with the day of catching fish. Actually, uh, Gary owns uh, Insurance Brokers of Minnesota, and his son Eric works there too. Um, Borderview is one of just one of their accounts up up here along with some of the other resorts and they they service businesses all across minnesota but you've been fishing up here for a long time haven't you yeah we've been fishing up here for about 40 years coming up with my sons and my family and friends and staying with mike at border view and he just does a great job 
After a fun day out on the lake, the best thing you can do is come into the restaurant here and enjoy your catch. Folks, if you want to come on up and do this here at Borderview Lodge, all you got to do is look them up on the website at borderviewlodge.com. For Fred Parno and Eric and Gary Sorensen, I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up. Let's eat. Let's eat. Guys. Perfect.